Well, here's uh, Congressman John Larson. Thanks for joining us. He's the leader of the chairman actually, of the House Democratic Caucus. He's from Connecticut. Sir, you just heard the diatribe. You know, I just want to be fair about this. This national debt we've got right now, the 14 trillion, wasn't invented by President Obama. He inherited overwhelmingly most of it, uh, especially the, the 7 trillion added up by Bush because of wars and because of prescription drugs and the rich tax, tax cuts for the rich. And they walk away from that and blame it all on him. I don't know how they have any morality about this, but you just heard this guy with one million words make that point. Well, I think we ought to mail everybody a, a copy of Eric Hoffer's True Believer. What we have here is pure ideological theater. And uh, what these guys are doing is a shame. The rest of the world is looking in. Uh, the world economy is teetering. Uh, clearly, the national economy is in frail recovery. And most importantly, Chris, household economies. People who want and are anxious about getting back to work and making sure they hold on to what they have, look in at Washington that should be engaged at putting them back to work and solving the real problems that face us, see nothing but ideological theater and pledges and true believers and disinformation, totally recreating history before us, having amnesia when it comes to how we got to this point. And if you dare raise it, oh geez, there you go again, raising George Bush. Let's get out of the blame game. Let's keep everybody at the table and let's solve the issue, the real issue which is jobs in this country. Let's put people at the table and talk about what cuts have to be made strategically so that we can have job creation here and what we have to do to incentivize people and to invest in the American people to put them back to work. I don't think it's that complicated, but elections, and you've acknowledged this on your program, have consequences. And America is watching those consequences unfold. This is, it's a sad time. If you believe in this institution, you work for Tip O'Neill. You saw how he was able to get together with Ronald Reagan. Imagine okay. accommodating Ronald Reagan more than 18 times on a national debt. This shouldn't be an issue. This is about the full faith and well, credit of the American people. I know, but you just heard the other side, and that guy came on to Escalese. He's a member of Congress. He got elected. He's authentic. And he came on with a lot of words and made the simple point the president has to think up programs to cut. I said, the name how you're going to get from 25 down to 18% of GDP, which I think is undoable. I think the government spending ought to be about 22%. If you look at the aging population, it's going to grow a bit over time. It's never going to be as small as it once was in Thomas Jefferson's time. But these guys say now it's the president's job. I mean, they're yeah. throwing it on his side. Not only is the debt his problem, which they gave him, but now he's got to come up with all the Republican spending program cuts. They want him to list their cuts for them. Listen, if Obama, never heard if like Obama came up with a cure for the common cold or cancer, as Carol Maloney said the other day, these guys would say no. When Obama had everybody in the room, and let's talk about the real driving of costs as you project short term and long term, is the cost of health care, why it had to be addressed. But you never hear them talk. They're always talking about the benefits that are accrued to people. As you pointed out, what person is going to give up those benefits? And I would add, and why should they? When you look at these escalating costs, where's the cry, outcry for uh, medical devices, pharmaceutical, insurance, doctors, hospitals, and the trial bar to come up with the savings that we, we see a nation that has a, a, is spending close to 20% of its gross domestic product on health care. Put America back to work. Address this issue. Don't go after the beneficiaries. Go after the true cost escalators. We should all be in a room engaged in that. That's what adults do. That's what Tip would have done. And in yeah, fact, well, that's what Ronald Reagan would have done. I agree with you about the lawyers to throw them in the mix. By the way, when people get sick and they get old, they have two requests. Give me what I can get and get somebody else to pay for it. And that's the way people are when they get old. And I understand completely that when somebody's 80 years old, they're not exactly out there swinging a pick. They can't pay for it. They need help. Anyway, thank you as Congressman John Larson, Chairman of the Democratic Caucus. Thanks for helping tonight.